I want to find the currents I1, I2 in this circuit and the voltages V1 here and V2 and the power dissipated through this resistance which is P1 and this one which is P2. Now in order to do that I will use the equivalent resistance uh, method and current divider method to solve the, to find the currents here. So what first I will do I will find the source current the current that is uh, coming out of the source in order to do that I will just uh, minimize the resistances so basically here I have 12, or, uh, 12 ohms and 6 ohms so the equivalent will be parallel these two are in parallel so 12 times 6 over 12 plus 6 will be the parallel equivalent so that will be 4 if I do this one the result is 4 so 4 ohms here and then again I have these two from here this one and this one in parallel so if I do that the parallel equivalent will be I will replace these two with one resistance and that will be 10 times 40 over 10 plus 40 which is uh, 50 so basically it will be 400 over 50 that is 8 so this is the other resistance so now I know what is the current the current will be that is coming out of the source will be 30 over 12 which is 2.5 amps so now I know the current here which is let's call it I sorry so, self, uh, only I so I will write this as I is equal to 2.5 the source current 2.5 amps so now I want to find I1 and in order to do that what I will do I will apply a rule called a law called uh, rule basically current divider rule and that is something like that when one current divides between two parallel paths the current divider rule says like if I have two currents here I here and then I have R1 R2 so let's call it just I so current through I1 uh, R1 is I1 and I1 will be given by I the total current divided by sum of the resistances the sum of the two parallel paths multiplied by the other one which is R2 similarly I2 the current through this one will be this part same but multiplied by R1 so the other resistance that's the current divider rule so I will apply that here in this case I need the current I1 so the total current is 2.5 the two parallel paths are 12 ohms and 6 ohms so 12 plus 6 I want to know the current through the 12 ohm ohms resistance so I will it will be multiplied by the other resistance which is 6 so basically what I will have is 0 0.833 amps or 833 milliamps whatever so I need to find the voltage V1 let's do that as well V1 will be 12 times 0.833 amps which is 10 volts so 12 ohms times so let's write V here basically so 10 volts is the voltage there now if I want to find the current uh, the power dissipated by this resistance that will be P1 will be V1 times I1 or I1 square times R1 whatever we will get the same result here so we have uh, 10 volts 10 times I1 is 0.833 so we can use this um, formula it will be 8.33 watt so that's there now we need to find the other current which is I2 and this I2 is again this current is coming here the remaining current remaining part of 2.5 is coming here so the current that is going through this one and this one is actually 2.5 again because this 2.5 is going here and then going there and there and then again at this point it's forming to the original 2.5 value so the current I2 which is through the 40 ohms resistance again we can apply current divider rule so 2.5 over 10 plus 40 10 plus 40 because one parallel path is 10 ohms other one is 40 and since we are trying to find the current through the 40 ohms the multiplication it has to be multiplied by the other resistance which is 10 so 2.5 over 50 and then 10 so basically 
5 amps is the current I2 so I2 is 0 0.5 and of course V2 will be I2 times R2 which is 0 0.5 times 40 which is 20 volts and then power P2 will be V2 times I2 which is 20 times 0.5 which is 10 watt so these are the currents powers and resistances through the uh, current powers and voltages through the resistances so basically current act, uh, through the resistance power dissipated by the resistances and then voltage across the resistances so yeah